Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Let's thank and praise our God Almighty for this blessed day that God has given us to praise and to worship Him. Hallelujah. So come, let's praise and glorify our God Almighty for now but 24, 2024 to praise Him, to glorify Him. Hallelujah. This is a God-given day for that. Let's praise Him. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Can we all raise our hands and praise Him? Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you. We praise you, Lord, that you protected us the whole day yesterday. Hallelujah. Lord, you covered us under your protection. You covered us under your wings. Lord, it is your grace alone. If not, nothing else. Hallelujah. Nothing else matters, O oh Lord. It is you only. It is you only. We thank you, Lord. We praise you for your good, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. Can we all raise our hands and praise and thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And today, with good health, O oh Lord, you have helped us together from us bed. Lord, we thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you. We praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. And today in Christ Jesus, we are leading us victoriously. For that, we thank you, Lord. We thank you. We praise you, Lord. Leading us, and Lord, with goodness, and Lord. We are leading us today with joy and peace. For that, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you. We give you praise, and Lord. We thank you for all the goodness that you bestow upon us. Lord, we thank you for everything that you are doing for us, and Lord. Lord, each day, O oh Lord, you are leading us in your favor. For that, we thank you, Lord. We praise you. We worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. As the psalm says in Psalms 59, verse 16. But I will sing of thy power, yeah, I will sing aloud of thy mercy in the morning, for thou hast been my defense and refuge in the day of my trouble. Hallelujah. Can we all thank our God and praise him? Hallelujah. As the 17th verse says, Unto thee, O my strength, will I sing, for God is my defense and the God of my mercy. Can we all raise our hands and say that my Lord is my strength and I will sing, for God is my defense. Amen. Come, let's declare and let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this blessed day. In Jesus' name, we pray, O Lord, for everyone, for all those who carry this message. We bless them in the name of Jesus. Let this message be a blessing in their life. In all their needs, O Lord, Master, you provide for them for everything, O Lord, you are good, O Lord. Lord, in all their needs, O Lord, you make ways, O Lord, as we know in the house of Cana, you made ways for your children miraculously the same way in your children's houses. Lord, whatever is their need, let your favor be upon them. Lord, you make miracles for them, O Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, for the wonderful things that you're doing for your children. Those who are sick in the name of Jesus, be healed. Hallelujah. Lord, we pray for those who are suffering um, with heart issues, those who are in the hospital or those who are planning to go to the hospital today. In the name of Jesus, we declare healing upon them. Every block, we remove it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, those blocks, we remove. Amen. And complete healing in the name of Jesus, we declare upon your children. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, for the deliverance that you have given. Amen. In the name of Jesus, we declare good health to your children. And those who are suffering with allergy, in the name of Jesus, be delivered right now. Amen. Lord, we thank you. We praise you. We praise you, Lord. We praise you. We glorify you, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, your good and your mercy and your forever. Hallelujah. Lord, we pray for those who are of age, of marriage. Lord, you make way for them. Lord, those who are studying in the name of Jesus, let them have the knowledge and the wisdom. Lord, we pray, O oh Lord, for those who do not have a job, you make a way for them financially. You strengthen your people. Lord, we pray, O oh Lord, for your great works in the church, Lord. Hallelujah. And we pray for all those who are working in your kingdom. In the name of Jesus, we bless them. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. May God's grace and peace be upon you all in abundance. Can we all raise our hands and just bless today's uh, meeting that is going to happen hallelujah 
Father God, in Jesus' name we pray all of the uh, meetings, all of the church meetings today be a blessing, let it be a great uh, revival, O oh Lord, hallelujah, let there be no issues, let there be no problem amongst your people, amongst your children, amongst your servants, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, let everything be a blessing, let there be a great revival in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for the wonderful thing that you have done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. May God bless you all in abundance. Amen. And if there is a church in your area, if there is a church meeting, so then definitely be part of it. Go to church and, be, uh, and enjoy the blessings. Amen. Come, let's turn our eyes to Matthew 24, verses 36. And it says, but of that day and hour knoweth no man. No, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. It says, But of that day and hour knoweth no man. No, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. And this is, uh, we are talking about uh, Jesus Christ's second coming. Hallelujah. And we all are waiting for Jesus to come again. That is our hope. That is our Christian living. Hallelujah. The greatest treasure that we are waiting for is God's coming. Hallelujah. And in these end days, there are a lot of thoughts that are passed. There are a lot of controversies. But amongst all, we know one thing that God's coming is soon. Hallelujah. If we look at all the signs that are happening around us, it gives us more clarity. It tells us more uh, strongly that everything that God has given us as promises are coming to fulfillment. Every signs are coming to fulfillment. When that is happening, we should become the wise. Uh, we should become wise. Hallelujah. And we need to be always thoughtful about God's coming. Amen. We need to be have the conscious that Jesus is coming soon again to receive me and for that I need to be ready I need to be ready hallelujah and if we look at uh, second Timothy hallelujah where Paul says in the end hallelujah whatever uh, the bad qualities or there will be a lot of uh, behaviors that we can see in the end days that is like people becoming selfish where they are always thinking about themselves it is only about their children it is only about uh, their things hallelujah it says for men shall be lovers of their own selves and if today's children if we look at if today's generation if we keep an eye on them we know that they are always thinking about themselves hallelujah and we see about covetous covetous is like everyone just thinking about themselves they want to make money for their own lifestyle they want to show off uh, how big or how great they are and for that they want to just make money and then boasters who always boast about themselves about their children about all their things and they always think about themselves what they do is the best thing and they keep on lifting themselves proud hallelujah then blasphemous disobedient to parents blasphemous means those who do bad to others and disobedient to parents and if we look uh, before children used to have that fear uh, with reverence to their parents but today's society is itself is teaching that you do not have to fear your parents if parents uh, scolds you or hits you then you can hit them back but uh, these are all the end time signs hallelujah and it says unthankful uh, unholy if someone does good to you instead of saying thank you we are being rude to them unholy without natural affection truth breakers false accusers incontinent fierce despisers of those that are good traitors heady high-minded lovers of pleasures more than lovers of god 
having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof from such turn away hallelujah if we can read this again if we look at each of the words and try to meditate on it and see is there any quality around us hallelujah and then we need to see that if we ask uh, any old people of other generation all these qualities are there in your generation or is it about only today then we will realize the signs that have been mentioned here is coming to true so we need to get ready hallelujah for jesus is coming soon let us not be lovers of people let us not be lovers of ourselves or of this world but be lovers of god hallelujah can we all meditate and be humble in him hallelujah can we all be like wise uh, woman hallelujah and make sure that we are living in god amen for jesus is coming soon can we live a holy life and can we be ready for god's coming amen lord we pray for none of them who was hearing this message be lost let them all be received at your trumpet call lord that is our prayer in jesus name we pray amen hallelujah can we all declare in jesus name we will expand each greater heights we will come upon all and signs and wonders and miracles will multiply we are blessed we are really blessed and we are permanently blessed and highly favored god bless you god bless you god bless you